With what we covered in the last video, you may be wondering whether it really is possible to get your site ranked now. How do you go about carrying out SEO for your site in this day and age? Well, let's take a look at some modern SEO practices. The first thing to do is to fill your site with as much relevant content as possible. Notice how SEO and content marketing naturally go hand in hand already? Again, this content should be long form, at least occasionally, and should contain links to other sites. Again, the same things that make your content high quality for your readers are the things that Google wants to see. Do some keyword research to find what people are searching for and what you should try to target to get the ideal traffic to your site. You can find the volume of people searching for specific terms by using Google's Keyword Planner. Come here to adwords.google.com forward slash keyword planner and then sign in using your Google ID. It's all very straightforward. Try to make sure that the terms you search for aren't too competitive, however. Otherwise, you can end up going against too many other sites and giving yourself an impossible task. As mentioned earlier, Google just doesn't like you to keep repeating the same key phrase over and over. Instead, the objective is to lace it into the content a few times as naturally as possible while also including synonyms and related terminology. This should happen naturally and it should never distract the reader. From here, you can go about building links from high quality relevant sites. These are certain sites that Google already trusts and you can spot these by looking at which ones are already at the top of Google and which ones are featured in Google News. Google also likes big recognized brands and it likes .edu and .org domains. While it might be hard to get links from those sites, you can think of this a bit like degrees of separation. In other words, if you can't get a link from Harvard University, Look for a site that does have a link from Harvard and see if you can't get a link from them. One of the best strategies you can use to build links is something called guest posting. Here, you're essentially going to contact big blogs and offer to write content for them for free. This content needs to be relevant and high quality so they will be tempted to go ahead and publish it. Rather than charging for your writing, what you then do is make it part of the deal that you will get a link back to your website within the body of the text. One way to avoid going head to head with the biggest players in your niche is to focus on local SEO. Local SEO is simply SEO that places local keywords front and center. So if you live in Santa Monica and you run a hairdresser, then you would try to rank for Santa Monica hairdresser and you will build links from other local companies. It's much easier to become number one for a specific search term like this. Even if you're running an international business, it can be a good idea to start local and then branch out once you've built a local momentum. Lastly, a few things that can help to keep you in Google's good books. Avoid anything that looks spammy or manipulative. Try to avoid patterns and encourage your visitors to share your links online. That's what Google really likes to see, sites with lots of links on the strength of their quality. One way to do this is to write link bait. This is content that is so useful, so interesting or so shocking that other people want to link to it and include it in their debates or share it with friends. When creating your links, Avoid trying to use only your keywords in the anchor text. Sometimes the best anchor is just click here or this article. Again, it looks more organic and natural and means Google won't think that you're paying for your links. Now, don't try and trick Google. Just create high quality content for your readers while keeping Google's algorithms in the back of your mind. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.